Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play 3 Cubed by Wild Drew. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Welcome, test subjects. Here is an easy gravity and cube base chamber for you. Please remember to fill out the test subject feedback form once you've completed this test, as we use the feedback to better our chambers. For you, the test subject. Thank you for your cooperation. This is my version of a chamber by Rich the Lego King. I've made some changes, but it was based on their idea. Thanks. And they are looking for feedback on the level level design. Just be honest, please. Alrighty then. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Due to events beyond our control, some testing environments may contain flood damage or ongoing tribal warfare resulting from the collapse of civilization. Okay. So, you know, we've got some numbered signage to tell us what order to do things. Okay, so that disables that. The second one disables the other one. Gotcha. Let's go over here. And... Oh. Okay, it's going to give us an infinity fling thing. Okay, gotcha. Calls that cube. So we've got some and gate for the stairs for the exit. I think it'd be much better to do this, right? And then Go across to there. And down to here. To get another cube, which is a companion. Here's the interesting part. Oh no, it's not. It's alright. We have a that's why that button respawns outside of that area. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Alright. And then we sort this cube. Like so. Let's get this one over here. Repeat this process again. And this allows us to get the laser cube out. Ever seen a flooded observation chamber like that? Interesting. And okay, so good reuse of the cube. I like that you had to kind of use that in two or three different scenarios to solve the map. Um, 
Would have been nice to see something else done with this laser, though, perhaps. Uh, not sure what. But, yeah, I mean, literally all we're doing there is um, putting that laser onto there to flip that. I mean, you could achieve exactly the same thing with just a weighted or a cube button. So, yeah, I don't really think you need a laser there. Um, unless you can incorporate the laser into another aspect of the puzzle, perhaps. Um, other than that, I mean, it's quite a big room. You could maybe, like, shrink it down a little bit. I don't really think I've got any other comments uh, about the map. So, um, yeah. Good work, buddy. Good work indeed. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match slides to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.